Oklahoma facing their first uh, true test this season as well. They whipped up on UTEP 45-13, beat up on Kent State, only gave up a field goal last week, 33-3. So, you know, they've got a new coaching staff. Brent Venables, of course, starting his tenure. So, in a sense, this is going to be their first big game, and this is going to be their first road game under Brent Venables. So it's not all just Oklahoma is going to come in here and roll and they've got everything worked out and they're flawless and perfect. They, you know, they, they're, they're still figuring things out. And again, this was only a seven point game last year. So. And you got the home field advantage. If you're a corner, you know, I mean, I expect the place to be uh, pretty, pretty juiced up for this game. Um, especially when, you know, it's kind of funny. Mickey Joseph had asked, been asked a couple times today about what he remembers about, you know, that, that old Oklahoma rivalry. And, you know, of course, uh, when Mickey was playing, it was, you know, they were still playing in the old Big Eight. And, uh, you know, that game, that game pretty much meant everything <laughs> every year. And, and, you know, he said that, uh, you know, it was always a different week. You know, you knew it was Oklahoma week because, Everybody would let you know it. You know the coaches, the uh, the media, the fans, your 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 teammates. You know the student body. Everybody would let you know it's Oklahoma week. So, you know it's it, it, it's unfortunate that unfortunate that it's kind of overshadowed by the dismissal of Scott Frost. But um, you know what? There's no not really any time left to uh, sulk about that or to to think about what, what could have been, but you know, you gotta, you gotta get ready to play the Sooners and, and um, you know, Mickey Joseph's got a tough challenge in front of him. It, it, anybody, that job would be hard for, for you to take, for me to take, um, you know, he didn't wake up. He had no idea when he woke up Sunday morning that he would all, all of a sudden be the head coach at Nebraska, you know, so it's changed his life in a big way as well. And, um, I think it's kind of cool that, that you're actually elevating a guy to this position that, that has actually played in this rivalry. And, and you know, he, he's got revenge on his mind. I mean, if, if you forget, I mean, the last time he played Oklahoma, he got hurt uh, in Norman during that game and got carted off the field. Um, I, I can't remember if that ended his season or not, but obviously that was at the end of the season anyway. Um, but uh, – you know, if anybody's fired up and wants to beat Oklahoma, it's Mickey Joseph. And uh, you forget that your quarterback, your starting quarterback's dad played at Oklahoma, you know, was a quarterback in Oklahoma and played in those in those rivalry games too. So there's a lot of kind of really cool factors going into this game. And um, you know what? I bet Fox is the happiest people on the planet right now having that as their big noon Sunday game. That's the way things are right now. I, I, I can't imagine that thing doesn't pull huge numbers. So, uh, you would absolutely think so. 